Today we're going to talk about the pancreas. So the pancreas is a mixed gland and a mixed gland means that it has endocrine and exocrine functions. So this means that the pancreas secretes some um, secretions throughout ducts and other secretions directly into the blood stream. So if we say that this is the pancreas, and this is the um, pancreatic duct. So there are secretions that are secreted throughout this pancreatic duct and this is the exocrine function and these secretions are the pancreatic juices. They are secreted from cells called the uh, pancreatic SNI and they move throughout the pancreatic duct till they reach the duodenum. So this is the exocrine function. The endocrine function, on the other hand, is done uh, throughout another group of cells, different from the SNI, which is called the islets of Langerhans. The islets of Langerhans. So, the islets of Langerhans has two types. We have alpha cells and beta cells. The alpha cells are low in number. The beta cells are high in number. The alpha cells secrete a hormone called glucagon. The beta cells secrete a hormone called insulin. So both glucagon and insulin work on stabilizing the glucose level in blood, which normally ranges from 80 to 120 milligrams per 100 cubic centimeter. This is the normal range of glucose in the uh, blood. So, the function of insulin is it actually helps in the metabolism of glucose and it's important for the uh, transportation of all uh, the types of sugars except fructose, except fructose. So fructose is not affected by insulin or insulin is not important for the transportation of fructose. And uh, also, insulin works on the um, conversion of glucose into glycogen to be stored in the liver and uh, muscles in case of need. So, the decrease in the levels of insulin will uh, decrease the conversion of glucose into glycogen, accordingly glucose will remain in the blood. This case is called diabetes, diabetes mellitus, where the patient suffers from an increased level of glucose in the blood and this uh, explains the uh, increased rates of glucose in urine and the uh, rapid micturition and the increased thirst. So this is briefly the case of diabetes mellitus. It's the decrease in the production of insulin or the stoppage of uh, production of insulin uh, completely. This is the function of insulin. 
On the other hand, glucagon antagonizes the effect of insulin, so it's directly the opposite. Glucagon works on increasing the conversion of glycogen into glucose, which uh, increases the levels of um, glucose in the blood. So insulin decreases the risk of glucose, glucagon increases the rates of glucose. So um, that's uh, the pancreas and uh, its uh, two um, exocrine and endocrine functions. I hope it was clear and until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.